Hey, it's Justin with Flipwise. Today I'm gonna to walk you through how to use the Flipwise auto relisting feature. So what this feature does is it automatically ends your listing and relists them right before eBay is set to renew your listing each month. And so I'm gonna walk through how that works. First, we'll just talk a little bit about why this feature exists. So uh, each month or every 30 days, uh, eBay renews your listing. And so each month you get a, an allotment of quote free listings that come with your, your eBay account. And so if you subscribe to a store, you may get uh, a larger amount Amount, a larger allotment of those free listings. If you don't have a store, I think you might have like 250. But every month, every 30 days, uh, eBay renews your listing, and that counts towards that allotment of free listings. Um, and when eBay renews your listing, it doesn't actually relist the item. It just uh, it just renews it. It's just a way for eBay to, to charge you, you know, against that allotment of, of free listings per month. And so what, what Flipwise does is it actually right before, one hour before eBay is set to renew your listing each every 30 days, uh, Flipwise will end the listing and then it will relist it. And by relisting it, it gives it a new eBay item ID. And it also um, appears new in search. And so uh, this can be helpful for older inventory because sometimes the older your inventory and the more crowded category that you're selling in, the more saturated, uh, the more competition there is, uh, the more likely your, your listing is just going to get kind of buried. And so by relisting your listings, uh, it kind of helps surface those older listings and gets them back in front of viewers. And so this is a good way to clear out older inventory by ending and relisting that older inventory. But if you have a lot of items in your store, you may just forget to do it, or it may be just too cumbersome. And so by enabling this feature on Flipwise, uh, Flipwise will do all the hard work for you. So let's go ahead and walk through how to set that up uh, on Flipwise. So we'll start right here on the Flipwise dashboard. And so we're going to go down here to the left of the main navigation under Manage. Uh, you'll see a uh, a navigational element called relists. If you click that, you're going to land on the relist hub here. And you'll see, won't see anything yet uh, because we have not enabled uh, auto relisting. But on top, you'll see some filters that'll show you all your items that have been previously relisted. You'll see what's scheduled to be relisted in the future, and you'll see any listings that are excluded from being automatically relisted. We'll get into that for a second. Even if you don't turn this on, you'll see any relist that you've done in the past. And this includes relists that you've done directly through eBay, not necessarily through, through Flipwise. So that's why those appear there. But what we can do here is go ahead and enable auto relist by clicking that top button on the, on the right. This is going to pop a modal and give you a little bit of information. The first bit of information that's important to note here um, is that all the settings on your listings will, will re be retained when when Flipwise ends and relists it for you, except for, for promotions. And so that's just a limitation on the eBay side. Uh, Flipwise cannot reapply the promotion on relist. And so what you'll need to do is set up a what's called a rule-based campaign on the eBay side. Uh, and this will basically reapply your promotional listing after the relist happens. And so if you do use promotions and you want those promotions to be retained after relist, you do need to set that up. So just follow that link there where it says read more, and it'll show you how to set that up on the eBay side. But we go ahead and check this box to turn on auto relisting to auto relist all my current and future listings before eBay does every month. You'll see a second checkbox that you can click there that says don't relist multi quantity listings if they have at least one sale. So what that'll do is if you have multi multi quantity listings, um, you may not want to relist them because a lot of people want to retain the search value of those uh, replenishable listings. And so if it's generated at least one sale and you check that box, uh, Flipwise will automatically exclude that multi quantity listing from being ended and relisted so that you can sort of retain that search value that's built up in the listing. Um, if you don't do that, you don't have to check that and it'll still relist your items for relist your multi quantity items for you. And uh, it, it, the quantities will be retained too. So if you have only two left, uh, it'll end and relist and make sure that your quantity is only two as well. But uh, we can go ahead and check that and we'll hit save here. And we end up then seeing a list now uh, of the scheduled list uh, populated here. So this is showing all future future relists that that Flipwise will will relist in the future. So this you can see here this one relists in three hours for these these pants. Um, you can see this I don't even know what that is. <laughs> uh, relist in 19 hours. Test ball plug will relist in 19 hours. So this is just a, a future look of all the relists that are going to happen. If you go into the relisted view here, you'll see a list of all the relists that have already happened. 
And then you'll go into excluded and see all the listings that have been excluded from being relisted. And so this, again, is all these multi-quantity listings that have been automatically excluded for me uh, because I have that box checked, for example. Uh, you can also just on a per listing basis, you know, you can go in and disable auto relist. So if I just for some reason don't want these pants to relist, you'll see a button here that says disable auto relist for this product. You can use that, use that if you want. Uh, you can also do it from this list right here, disable auto relist. You can also manually end and relist any listing from Flipwise itself. You'll see a button there that says end and relist. So if you just want to end and relist it very quickly without having it happen automatically, you can do that. Um, you can end the eBay listing from this view as well. Uh, so a lot of things you can do from that, that little action button there. Let's see, what else can I show you? Uh, if you need to turn off uh, auto relist, you just pop this back open and uncheck it. That will turn it off. There's a few other listing types that Flipwise will automatically exclude from being relisted. One of those, if you keep your listings active but out of stock, uh, Flipwise will not relist those. That's because when e eBay doesn't allow you to list a new listing with zero items in stock, and so it would automatically bump the quantity available on an out of stock listing from zero to one, meaning you would risk selling something you don't actually have. And so Flipwise will not allow you to relist uh, an active listing that's out of stock. Same goes with variations. And so if you have a list Listing, a multi-quantity listing with many variations. Uh, Flipwise will not allow you to relist uh, a multi-quantity listing with, vari with variations because one of those variations could be out of stock. And again, we don't want to relist it and have eBay bump that quantity of zero for one of your variations back up to one. So those will automatically be excluded from being relisted as well. That's it. That's how you use the auto relisting feature on Flipwise. Thanks.